I wish I took a before picture. I have been using this for maybe three months and there is a significant difference like other people have noticed. This is a meditation moment. It's like this little like cooling tip. So I just squeeze. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being with me today. I really appreciate it as always. I actually wanted to do something a little bit different today. I have spent the past six months on trying to master my skincare. I had some very, very crucial things that I needed to combine to go under my makeup. Number one, horrible dry skin. Fine lines, always show you through makeup, um, year round dry skin. Number two, SPF is extremely important to me. So I don't know if you guys know who Hiram is. I feel like everybody knows, but just in case you don't, he is a major, huge influencer here on YouTube. He does skincare and something he said to me was so significant. I have worn SPF every day since he said, you can moisturize, you can get the best skincare that money can buy. But if you do not wear SPF, you might as well not put on any moisturizer whatsoever because not wearing SPF and going out in the sun is essentially erasing all of the moisturizing that you have done and all of the skin prep you have done. However, we all know SPF leaves a white cast. It's oily, it's greasy. We had to find something that would keep our skin moist, not make it too oily, include SPF and be able to wear that under makeup without the makeup getting oily or pilling or showing fine lines. After six months, I can confidently say that I have found the perfect combination for my skin. Um, I can't promise that this is going to work with anybody else's skin, but I did want to share it with you in case there's anything you can take from it. I'm going to show you the products and how I apply them, and I highly recommend all of these products because, like I said, they do work extremely well under makeup. I'm going to go in order, step by step, and I'm going to show you how I prep my makeup. So let's get started. So this is the Brighten Eye Cream by The Inky List. So this is actually a very, very interesting product. You are to use it before moisturizer. It's essentially a base. I have recommended this to all my friends. All my friends love it. I'm actually getting ready to order my second bottle. I'm almost out. So it is an instant illumination and long-term brightening. I wish I took a before picture. I have been using this for maybe three months and there is a significant difference like other people have noticed. I had a friend who asked me what I was using because she hadn't seen me for a few months. She was shocked by how, by the difference in my under eyes. It's an awesome, awesome base for under your concealer and foundation. And it has the best tip ever. It's like this little like cooling tip. So I just squeeze. <laughs> I just got it everywhere. Dab it like this on my under eyes. Okay, and then literally we're just rubbing it. It's like this amazing cooling tip. Ugh. It's like the quartz roller or the jade roller. Like that's exactly how it feels. And it actually says on the back to do this. And then I just kind of take my finger and I just dab it in and I just make sure, make sure it's nice and dry. I would go ahead and wait about five minutes. So the next item that I use, the I can never say hyaluronic, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. It's an anti-aging serum. I actually got it off of Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and link all of the products that I am using below as well as the prices and all of the information. So it is in a little dropper. Okay. I have two moisturizers that I love to use under makeup. The first one is the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. It's very lightweight, but extremely moisturizing. It is amazing. The second one is from 4th Ray Beauty Thirst Aid Hydrating Priming Moisturizer. So I'm gonna use this. Now, I will say, I use about that much. The e.l.f. one is scent-free. There is no smell. This is definitely scented. So if you are sensitive to um, fragrance, it literally has this very potent odor of cucumber. It's very refreshing. Um, I personally very much enjoy it. It's just very refreshing and relaxing. But 
the e.l.f. is an excellent alternative if you are sensitive to fragrance. And like I said, this is definitely a little more, um, I would say they're equally as moisturizing. This is a little more oily. You just have to kind of let it dry down a little bit before you like go and put your sunscreen on. I am going to go in with another color, Fourth Ray Beauty, not ColourPop, Fourth Ray. I don't know if it's ColourPop, I don't understand. Fourth Ray Beauty, Water Drop Hydrating Eye Gel. And the bottle's just so pretty. <laughs> it's so adorable. I just discovered this recently and I, I love it. It is so hydrating to your eyes and wears perfectly under makeup, at least for me. Um, in my opinion, it does. So this also does have a bit of a scent. I literally can't identify what it is. Just says cruelty free. No ingredient. It, I'm not, oh my gosh. It's like one of those smells that I like, I know what it is, but like, I can't think of it. Oh my God. It's something. Oh my God. What is it? I go through this every time I use this. And then every time after like 20 minutes, I'm like, oh yeah, that's what that smells like. It's like baked bread or something or like some kind of baked. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I use just a little bit like this and I just dab it on my under eye and on my eyelids, um, on the instructions. I don't have the instructions anymore. They were on the box. Um, it did say to use it on your eyelids around your eyes and your under eye. And it is seriously like velvet. Oh my gosh. I just got very sleepy anyway. Yeah. It's a like gel cream when you're rubbing it in, you're patting it. It seriously like is that that consistency that feels like it just is never going to dry, but it does. I promise it dries. It dries beautifully. Sugar Lily Lemons. Oh my God. What is this? I mean, I'm like almost halfway through this thing already. And every time I freaking put it on, I go through this with a smell. It's like one of those smells that provokes an unknown memory. Does if that make sense? It makes sense to me. <laughs> And last but not least, in terms of skincare, this is probably my favorite product ever. I'm sure you've heard of it. It is the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Water and Sweat Resistant from Super Goop. Yes, it is expensive, but I am telling you, oh my God, is it worth it? If I am just hanging out around the house, I will use whatever. But when it comes to makeup application, this is an actual primer. It is weightless, colorless. It is scentless, oil-free. It smooths the appearance of pores, grips makeup in place, and leaves a velvety soft finish. Perfect for all skin tones. Apply a dime-sized amount as the last step in your skincare routine and before your makeup. Okay, so I'm going to pour it kind of in my hand. So about a dime-sized amount, okay, which kind of feels like it's going to be a lot, right? Mm. No white cast. Let me know if you guys want to see my nighttime skincare routine. I actually have an amazing nighttime skincare routine as well that I also feel has made a significant difference in my skin. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. All right. So I have had time to let this set and it, it's funny, like it will still feel oily, but it's literally just that silky. It's the best. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to recommend a couple foundations. I'm going to go off camera, apply my foundation and my powder, come back, show you what it looks like. Just check in so you can kind of see like how well all of this reacts together. So I have two affordable foundations that I'm going to recommend. The first one is the good old color pot, pretty fresh. This I think will forever be my absolute favorite. It is a hyaluronic hydrating foundation. It is super hydrating. It is beautiful on my skin. I absolutely love it. Then the second one is a very recent discovery, which I do have a video reviewing this. This is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It is full coverage. Both of these are full coverage, by the way. This also does have additional SPF, but SPF and foundations, they do not give you the coverage you need. You still, still do need a sunscreen, but it certainly doesn't hurt. This does have, um, it's color correcting, it's full coverage. It is a natural finish. It has collagen, peptides, niacinamide. It's gorgeous. So I will come back and show you what this looks like. Um, I do have a whole entire video if you want more information on it. I will have that linked. And then if you, you want to try something different, I recommend the Huda Beauty Luminous 
Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I steer clear from mattes at all costs, but since it was like a hydrating luminous matte, I gave it a try. Um, I don't actually love it as much as I love these other two, but I really do like it. I would recommend it. Um, it's actually something I want to play with more. I have worn it a, a, a few times and I have really enjoyed it. But honestly, these two are, are my favorites. However, I really, really, really like this. I just wanted to give another recommendation. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and I'm going to apply the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And you'll see how it wears at the end of the day. And also, if you could please give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy today's video. And if you could also please subscribe. It really helps my channel. Plus, I do have a lot of content just like this coming up. I have a lot of reviews coming up. And if you want to be notified so that you don't miss any of that new content, make sure you you hit that bell icon so you can be personally notified. I will be right back when I have the foundation on and you just hang tight. Don't you leave me now. This is the final product of all of that care and love that we just gave our skin. And I didn't mention this. This um, is the shade Fair 120 Neutral and the Brightening Concealer is the shade Light 26 Neutral. I did set my face. Um, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. In my opinion, there's nothing like this. It's, it's magic. I did try a couple times this Kiko Milano Mood Boost Perfecting Powder. It is a less expensive alternative. It is like almost glowy. It is a little more luminous. This was definitely a more hydrating powder. I know it's very hard to find a hydrating powder. So this would be a good, less expensive runner up. And then I just use my Rare Beauty Setting Spray and I'm telling you, I have worn this a few times now and my face looks like this all day. Never have I experienced it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed filming it. I'm not gonna lie, I've worked so hard on trying to perfect my skincare. So if there's anybody that I can help, then I am absolutely thrilled to death. If you guys have any recommendations for dry skin, I am always open to trying new things, whether it's makeup, skincare, whatever, or if you have a routine that works for you, like please do share. I am very interested. Dry skin community, we gotta stick together, man. So yeah, please leave that in the comments below. And thank you so, so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun filming this. And um, yeah, well, you guys take care. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.